the face cold when you walk outside. Yeah, look at those numbers behind Caitlin. It is cold. Ooh, haven't seen these in a while, right? It's been like <laughs> it's 25 been to 35 every morning for the last couple of weeks. So yeah, a little different this morning. Six degrees in St. J, seven in Montpelier, 15 in Middlebury, a little bit warmer for you guys. Into the south, you guys are in the teens and low 20s, while the north, a little bit closer to those single digits and low teens. So yeah, be prepared for that this morning. We have at least a little bit of sunshine on the way once that sun comes up in the next hour or so. You're going to have some of these clouds broken up a little bit. I do think those clouds fill back out through the afternoon hours, though, and we'll spit out some more of those scattered showers. So this morning, we're dry. That's some great news. I think what's already on the ground is going to be the biggest issue that you find for your morning drive. So, of course, when it's this cold, watch out for some of those little patches of snow and ice left over. By the afternoon, a little bit more of that light snow still falling in temperatures right up near average in the mid and upper 20s. Here's that snow. Obviously, it's not a whole lot here. You're going to find a few of those scattered showers rolling through from about lunchtime all the way through sunset and maybe a few overnight and into early tomorrow morning. But nothing substantial between today or tomorrow, especially in the valleys and the mountains. That snow starts to add up a little bit more and is certainly a little bit more persistent there. But obviously no major storms here between today or tomorrow and maybe a little bit of sun in between some of these snow showers over the next couple of days if you're lucky. Then on Thursday, slightly better chance for a little bit more of that snow. You could get a quick inch or two in the lower terrain uh, throughout Thursday, but I think once again, the mountains certainly going to be the spots where you guys have more and more of that adding up. So here's the breakdown today. Obviously in the higher terrain, one, two, three inches, certainly possible. Some lake effect snow will have an impact on parts of the Adirondacks. Then tomorrow, the darker blues start to show up. That's a couple more inches on top of what we've had today and over the last few days. And then I'll take you through Thursday and you'll notice some pinks and purples showing up in the high peaks and along the spine of the Green Mountains. And that's by the end of the week where you're going to get totals at least a half an in, uh, half of a foot rather. And if not even a little bit more than that uh, in the higher spots of our mountains through the rest of the work week. So the snow is going to fall exactly where we need it in the higher terrain, but it does come along with a little bit of a chill. So by Thursday morning in particular, down into the single digits, Friday the warmest of the next several days, but then we're right back to that cold and kind of blustery air over the weekend. It's going to be the teens and single digits for Saturday and Sunday.